it's um it's a very long one so i just wish i could start the series like today and allow it span because when you pick up the book let in the future <laughs> let's say it's let's say it's as big as this so you'll be flipping up flip 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 and you have each page you have a lot to cover but it's going to help you because it's an understanding that we all need i titled it um it's a long one i've seen the image i have it like you have an arrow a road that just turns you know god's method now when i mean god's method i'm looking at god's method in answers to prayer that's why i told you is long answers to prayers god's method when it comes to the issue of salvation god's method when it comes to divine turn around divine promotion divine elevation divine acquaintances all of these things are subtopic under this so the only way i could give to the media team to work on was just to give them god's method but there are many other things that follow are you getting me now so anywhere i stop leave it like that don't ask question anywhere i stop and if god permits i continue on wednesday good but all of these things are things you are still going to enjoy as you journey with me we have a very long way to go very very long and you know the time will come whereby um you would have to give your pastor a lot of time to go back um maybe i would just there are places i love to i've, I've seen their pictures you know somewhere like um i saw a terrain in mexico very beautiful where one can sit down don't say chai and have like months where you can do a whole lot of writings are you getting me mm, because i love nature so so long as you can i think maybe that's the reason why the lord asked us to come to this side my dream is you know i've told him you know we buy up this whole place down to the water and begin to build artificial stuffs uh-huh so we have prayer lodge artificial mountains artificial trees yes so it will grant me the ample opportunity to sit on i love to sit on the floor so you sit on the floor and you are there with the holy spirit those of you that like water bed that's where rain has been falling <laughs> is that okay so but let's get started let's get started i trust god for speed this morning to be able to touch what is god's method when it comes to marriage answers when it comes to conception there are methods so we want to look at that because some people would think that as you study in the new testament also you see the reason jesus christ came the bible tells us the first reason if i review this now it's going to there's a message but jesus came to show us god's formula one of the reason he came to reveal to us the formula of god he came to reveal the father to us that we might have a clear picture of who the father truly is you know what he said anyone who has seen me had seen my father so he was the express image he came to reveal the father to us write this down god has a million method of solving one problem over a million method of solving one problem it is said in our word there are many ways to kill a rat without shedding a blood Huh? Oh? 
God has over a million ways of solving one challenge. God has over a million ways of proffering a solution to one problem. Just one. If he lacks that method, he is not God. It is human that are confined to one solution. But not with God. Are you there? Where have you been? I've not been seeing you. Are you around? Yes, sir. Brag with me. Come. Get me this. Pastor Chi, get me this. Bring the two seats. Put it here. Put the other one. Both of you stand. Face the seat. Now, the seat represents promotions. Huh? God wants the two of them to be promoted. Alright? Both of you turn. Face, face the crowd. God wants them promoted. Are you with me? Both of them are vying for different positions. But let's assume there are two seats. So let us assume that it's only one seat of promotion that is there. Are you with me? Alright, you take that one. Return it. So let us assume. Alright, thank you. Let us assume it's one. And they are both praying that God will bring them promotion. God has many ways. More than a million ways. Of making them sit on this seat without using one door. What I'm going to say today will beat you. It will, it will help you to just stay and say, Lord, I surrender. Because many a times we think we know him. But as you begin to walk, you discover you do not know him. The very first time I was caught up to heaven. I'll show you something. And when I heard Jerry Duplantis, Jesse Duplantis, sorry, say the same thing, um, 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 you, you can Google it out, maybe after the meeting, Encounters of the God Kind. I remember, that's the message. Encounters of the God Kind. Jesse Duplantis. When he was caught up, one of the things I discover is this. Look at this guy. Do you have a you have best you have colors that you love? What, what are they? Um, blue and green. Blue and green. All right. Do you have what? White. White. All right. So when it comes to that color, do you know that I discovered? That when you get to heaven, that's when you finally get there. They make everything in your, let's say, some will uh, inherit a room. Some will inherit a room and parlor. Some will inherit an estate. The things you find in that place, are exactly what you love on earth. Like, you can get there now and find white. Neither will you get there now and find blue and green. Your will, your will, let your will be done, <laughs> your heartbeat is sinking with divine creation's will. The will of God's divine creation. For you. 
That's why when you love a particular car, it's not an accident. It's as a way of your makeup in creation. Sit down. Take the seat. Return. They will get me as I begin to explain. How many of you love red color? Red? Any, anybody? Red? Uh -huh. Red? So, you discover that the moment you get there and they welcome you and you come in, you just say, wow, that's red. But you know there are different reds. There are some reds that are not in this world. Right now. Yes. All of the colors you have on earth are not perfect. Until you discover the perfect ones there. That's why you have different green. They now begin to give you green. They give you names. Because they are lost in true definition. They say, leave green. They say, olive green. What is that? Tokyo's blue. <laughs> Sky blue. They don't know what navy blue. So if there was no navy. <laughs> then they look. Yeah, blue black. So what is sea blue? Thank you. So you have a lot of blue. Arrays of blue. Can I have all of you? Come. Follow me. Tell someone. Let us learn about God's method. All of you, come and line up. I hope you guys are looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are all believers. Asking God for different things. Are you with me? Let's say, let us just assume that the sisters, how many sisters do we have there? Three. And we have four brothers. Okay? So, let us assume that the sisters are asking God for a man. Hmm? Now, why are you? <laughs> you see the reason why I don't like to use some of you, for example. You are not asking for a man. Don't worry, I know. Your man is there, he can't do me anything. So let's say she's praying, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pastor has taught us how to pray. So I pray. I capture my man. I capture my man. I capture. So she, she prays to, I capture. She prays to, I capture. Now, this is what we do. This is what we do. Then, God steps in to answer her prayers. So her friend invites her and says, I'm having my birthday. Why don't you just attend? So I'm tired. Just come, shall we? Somewhere in Maryland. Ah, will I be chance? Just try. Just try. I know you are very busy, but just try. Okay. Once I'm coming back from the office, I will just... You know, how will I change? So don't worry. Just come like that. I just want to see you there. So, on that fateful day, she wasn't looking that good. She was looking so stressed out and tired. She came all the way from the office and she attended. So, she just sat down. She's looking so tired. And here is a guy who also came in and had spoken to the Lord. And the Lord had assured him that day. That I'm going to show you the woman that you will marry. That's because he's trusting the Lord. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to put that in your mind. The Bible says he that finds. Huh? He that finds. He that finds. Which means there is no God ordained. They didn't write any lady from heaven. Vivian. Vivi. Look for Victor. No. <laughs> he that word finds. So she sits down there and hears this guy just, ah, hello, hi. My name is, I'm, I'm just so tired. Wow, I can see you're so tired. Where are you come, coming from the office? I'm so tired. She's just, she's my best friend, so I just had to attend. So, wow. Oh, can I, can I keep you company? Yeah, just sit down so that I don't fall asleep. They are, they, are, they are dancing. You don't want to dance? No, no, I don't feel like dancing. I don't, I'm not a dancing type. They're having a conversation. Well, 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 okay. Can I have, you don't have anything to eat? I just want to take liquid. I'm fine. 
So they just brought something and she's sipping. They are not having a conversation. At the end of the day, can I have your number? Pam. So they exchange numbers. And she leaves, the guy leaves, and they start chatting. Few months after, just few months down the line, six months, seven months, eight months, the guy is saying, I want to come see your parents. Proposed and all of that. And now she is getting married. Praise God. She shares that testimony with her friend. And this one begins to look for party. <laughs> Did you get what I'm saying? Please, any, any party, you push your invite. <laughs> so long as God has done it for her, through what? Party. God must do my own. It is the place where we pray that prayer, Father, do for me what you have done for others. We navigate. We want to navigate. That God had established the testimony of Sister One Nega. That that is, every time you read the testimony of her, you will see that God can give a lady a husband by attending a party. But that is one nigger. There is another one that is blessing. Also the daughter of God. I am not going to give you your own man or cause you to meet your own man in a party. I have many ways. So what are you going to do? You are going out. This is God's method. You are going out now. And you ordered Uber. Shh. Go to Agege. The engine. Is having problem. So you you alighted. You came down, stood there, the guy is begging, pleading. There's no way you can order Uber, no network, nothing. And you stand there only for a mole way. Shh. To stand before you. Agege, agege. You're not saying, eh. Ah, and okay, let me just enter. Ah, this place looking somewhere. You just entered. And the very seat you are you are standing, because there's not and you're standing and you're putting on a heel there's a guy who's pressing his phone and the guy for some reason his eyes just cast on your heel and he looks at you and sees you you're sweating and he says hi and you say hello it's okay let me sit i can see your heel and you just say thank you your god sent the conversation had started this is how you find your own it's still marriage Then this one now begins to announce I must look for Uber that the engine is bad. <laughs> if, if you are there, clap for Jesus. The name of what they are asking for is called marriage. The method is different. Sit. Sit. I am going to do it my own way if you trust me there are many ways by which God can prefer a promotion, an elevation, a turnaround, a healing, a marriage, or whatever. Expansion in ministry. Can I tell you something? Look at me. Look at me. This is the gospel truth I want to tell you. There are many platforms on the social media today that people pray from. In the morning and at night. But I tell you something. One of the major reasons. The devil planned to use COVID-19. To destroy human lives. God capitalized on it. To refund the fire of believers. And I can tell you. One of the beautiful things. That God used that COVID-19 to bring. Was NSPSPD. Are you with me? Men began to pray that if you listen to the testimony of the pastor, the convener of that, you would see that he had gone through certain things that gave birth to the lifestyle of prayer, not knowing that a storm was coming that would be needed. And now, the platform is created and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people began to join that and pray. And watch this. That brought about expansion and and increase in the ministry. 
And in the body of Christ and the name for Jesus, what are other people doing? We want to pray in the morning. The question is, were you ordained for that? God will not create another COVID-19 and call another pastor. No, sir. But it is also very important that you go to God and carve out what God is saying. You are going to see what I'm saying. You will carve out because that season is for him and is working. You would see that that is working for him. I mean, if you are getting what I'm saying. In this meeting today, there are a couple of people that through this message, God will lift up. I just pray that the person that owns this particular message will be alert from the beginning to the end. To pick the resources that God will drop. And with that you can say, of a truth I attended a particular service and God used that as an instrument to change my life. Lift up your right hand and say, I subscribe. I subscribe to God's method, God's method of elevation, of elevation promotion, promotion, healing, healing divine turnaround, expansion and increase in the name of jesus can i hear better amen, amen. psalm 25 verse 5 verse 4 let's begin with that psalm 25 verse 4 This is the prayer of David, the king of Israel. He had gotten to a point in his life that he wanted to carry certain understanding. And he, can we read it together? Loud and clear. One, two, go. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Can we say that again? One, two, go. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy path. Can we read it again? Louder. One, two, go. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me that. I want you to underline the word ways or write it ways in your Bible there. You would understand something here. The first thing I needed to see is that he never said show me your way as of singular. But he says show me thy word ways. Is that right? Alright. Let's do another. F- let's do two more translations and see what they say. Message translation quickly. Message. Can we read together? One, I, I told you to underline the word ways or write it down. So, you will begin to see synonyms. Attribute of that. Number one, let's, let's, let's read together. One, two, go. Show me how you work, God. School me in your ways. Ah. The day I understood this, I, stress left. You know what they call Stress. Stress left. Let's read it again. One, two, go. Show me how you work. God, school me in your ways. What a prayer. Show me how you walk. Like, show me how you walk. Now, school me. School me. Tutor me. Lecture me in your ways. Show me how you work. I saw you last week. Then I see you this week. And there's a huge transformation. Show me how you work. As invited. Oh, you went to Canaan land. And you saw the massive thing that God through deep. Through a man. Show me how you work. You're glued. You're watching something. And you're watching a man of God and he's healing people on healing streams. And you see men standing up from wheelchairs. Standing up, dropping their crutches. Show me how you work. School me in this thing. You sat in a meeting and Ali Kodangote walked in and everybody stood up and he began to explain how he, um, his wealth came and all of that. And you look at the man and they told you what this guy is worth, his net worth. And you're like, what? And this guy does not even know how to speak in tongues. Lord, show me how you walk. Show me how. Don't just show me your work. Show me the how you walk. I want to know the how. 
School me in the ways you do things. Because if I can know how you walk, then I can follow the pattern. It's a rhythm. It's a process. Show me how. Somebody lift up your right hand and say, Lord, Lord show, me how you work. show me how you work. I want to know how you work. I want to, I want to know. So it's a prayer that only God can answer. Give me, let's, look, let's do New, New Living Translation, NLT. Can we read that together? One, two, go. Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Do you know why? Not all roads are your road. There are certain roads you are designed to work. And there are certain roads that your brother or your sister is designed to work. Show me my own. Show me my own. This is very important. Very important. And this is why most of these people, especially sisters who have this notice me attitude and character, they always get disgraced. Because you just go to a place. When you go for a function or you, you enter a place, look for the lowest place to go and sit down. Because the moment you go to the high place and sit down, and the people that are supposed to occupy that thing comes there, they will remove you. Because you have first exalted yourself. People will not say, wow, congratulations. You say, yeah, I've arrived. Only for the people that own the seat to not come, they not demote you. But if you go to the lowest place and you sit down and they cite you, wow, that's that guy. They just bring you to the place. People say, wow, we never knew that guy. You know some of you that pose with people's car, you use it to snap. Happy Sunday. And you know it's not your car. They now see you trekking. And I say, what about that, your car? So, it developed a little fault. I just took it to... Oh, God! Ah, see? You are lying. It never developed any fault. You don't have any car. Why don't you be humble enough and say, I do not have any car for the now. And you move on. No stress. He says... Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. School me. Now, write this. Now, I told you to write, underline the word ways, right? The ways of God are his methods of accomplishing things. The ways of God are his methods of accomplishing things. They are... The method by which God does the things he does. His method are his ways. That's not all the definition though. But the ways of God... Will point you to his method. Isaiah chapter 3. Chapter 2 sorry. God has more than one way. Of accomplishing things and getting the same result. God. You know back then those days. When we were in school. When it comes to. You know in secondary school. Because I did pure science. I never did economics and all those all those things. And even going on like that, I don't like all this. They talk too much. I love measurement. I, I, will, I, will, I will teach you the mathematical God. I will teach you. You will see that God is a mathematician. So, I followed, me and God, I followed that path. So all these, um, sit down and be reading literature. No, 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 no. And um, what is government? 
Government is no, no, I don't do all this. All those um, buy and sell. I knew that. I knew my. So I, I didn't do it no me. So I did further mathematics. What you call hard maths. Mm. So it's more of calculation. Every now and then, I sit down like this, and I'm. I'm able to like this and this should be able to go to this and this. You put this and this together, and you get this. One thing I love to do, even down to geography, is to make sure that I have one formula, more than one formula, to achieve a particular answer. I used to do that. And many a times I've used abbreviations to discover, to create an equation formula. And I have many that I stored in my booklet. Sometimes you just open them and I'll just put my name there. Once I just, I'll just O. I'll put bracket. So, this is me. Now, when you meet a very strict teacher, you use his formula. Because when you use your own, they don't know you. It has not been proven. You'll be in trouble. But I know that I've, I've applied it in different... Somebody came up with, with what do you call? Many, most of these equations, they're not human beings. So, why is it that? Like someone who came out and said he has cure for, for, for HIV and they, they, they debunked it. Like when COVID came, um, um, Cape Verde, they discovered something and they were using it and the people were not dying. And just because an African country, the whites, they, 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 they shunned it. And when they were now dying the more, they called the president and said, the president said the thing is finished. And there were less number of deaths in, in Cape Verde. Because they were now giving the thing out. And some of us, some of our people who, who were in, um, um, you know, you go to the bus stops, all those stouts. They were shouting, mingling with people, doing all the... None of them died of COVID. Because they tell you they, they, they have the cure. When the ones they... they, they uh, do, you, do you know the cure? Okay, you know the cure. Are you, are you staying around the bus stop? Okay. So, I, I try to look for... <laughs> there are many ways. Many ways by which you can, you can actually solve an equation, solve a problem. You just look for many ways. One of the reasons is good is because... Once you sit in an examination and someone is able to spy and you know that once this person spies the, and both of you are writing the same thing, the possibility of the teacher thinking that you, know, you, even, you are the one that copied is there. But if you are able to derive another formula and you are able to state it, okay, this is this, is this, this is that, you write it in, in clear terms. You, you, you can find favor in the sight of a very good one who will tell you this guy is very good and they might even invite you and say, come and explain this. That's what this is. It says, show me. That's what David is saying. He got to that point and he says, I want you to just show me how you do certain things. Can you show me? Isaiah chapter 3, verse number 2. It says, show me. Are you there? Isaiah chapter 3, verse number 2. King James, please. Isaiah 2, sorry. Sorry. Isaiah 2 verse 3, sorry. Isaiah 2 verse 3. Can we read it together? We are good. We are sound people. So let's read. One, two, go. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. And we will now walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Now I want us to focus on some. There's a line there. You know. Let us go to the mountain of the Lord. Where is the mountain of the Lord? To the house of God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways. Only when he teaches us his ways are we now permitted to walk in his paths. Now. We will marry this verse now with what uh, David said in Psalm 25. Are, are, you, are you tired? Are you bored? Are you learning? Psalm 25. Put up Psalm 25 again. Verse 4. Psalm 25 verse 4. And we are coming to this. Now look at it. It says, show me thy ways, O Lord. Then you teach me thy path. Now this was a prayer. And a sincere prayer from the heart of a man who wants to know. But what he fails to understand is this. That the when God shows you his ways or teaches you about his ways, then are you permitted? 
with the understanding of that, the knowledge you have derived from the ways of God, then you can walk in his path. That God cannot, will not teach you his ways and teach you his path. No. The ways of God opens for you the ability to walk in the paths of God. That's what we saw that Isaiah was talking about. He says, let us go to the mountain of God, to the Lord's house. There he will teach us. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 3 now. There he will teach us his ways. And then we can now walk in his what? Hearts. Look at it. Let's go to the mountain of the Lord. To the house of God. Of the God of Jacob. And he will what? Teach us of his ways. I told you to remove the word ways and put the word what? Method. That's what it means. Let's go to the house of God. Where God will teach us of his methods. And only when we are taught of his method can we now walk in his path. Give me the message translation of that verse. They will say, Come, let's climb God's mountain. Hallelujah. Go to the house of the God of Jacob. He will show us the way he walks. So we can live the way we are made. Many of us now are out of joint. That's what he's saying. You are actually not in the place. In the circumference of your making. But only when we return to the house of God. Some of us are doing Uber. Or some of us are selling. We have a shop in Yaba. At Yaba. And now instead of us to be. Sometimes I meet people. And I tell them. You are supposed to be living in Switzerland. You're supposed to be in this place. You're supposed to study this. You know what that means? It is to put you in the circumference of what you are made for. You see people who study sociology and they are working in the bank. What is the correlation? A teacher that is at the... Um, um, you meet them at the as a reception. Reception is at 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 at, at um, police station. Which police station? <laughs> Amen. And you're asking why are you like this? Some of us are engineers, but they are supposed to be politicians, giving the right judgment. He says only when you understand how he works. Then he will show us the way he walks so we can live the way we are made. Lift up your right hand. Say, Lord, I gain this insight today. And I will help my children. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we're looking at God's method of doing things. There are ways by which God does things. Romans 11, 33. Romans eleven thirty three King James please Romans eleven thirty three Oh the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God how unsearchable are his judgment and his ways past finding out This was a cry of someone in the Old Testament. He's shouting that we can find out the ways of God. He says they are past finding out. Give me the amplified of it. They are past finding out. It's like saying in the Old Testament, they said no one can know the things that are in the heart of God. And Paul came in 1 Corinthians and says, Of a truth, no man can know the things that are of, of God, the things that are in the heart of God, save the Spirit of God. The same way no man can know the things of a man, save the Spirit of a man. He says, But God has given to us His Spirit, that we might know. So, this thing now that is past finding, that's why He gave us the Holy Spirit, that we might know. And it is in the knowing that I'm here now to teach you. The things that I was able to get now. So I'm showing you. You know what this will remove? Jealousy. 
You know what this will remove? Competition. And that's why if you are Nigerian movie, they like to act this a lot. You see a girl, an orphan, the parents die. She's living with the uncle. The uncle is maltreating her. They now send her midnight to go and fetch water. You know, as she will not find one egg. A spirit will appear and say, Hey, ordinary, come. Pick that egg. Go home. Break it, whatever you see. So she goes home, enter a room, breaks it, and find gold. She becomes prosperous. People now say, Wow. Then a man begins to follow her. So, the woman that has been maltreating her will now say, Now call the daughter. You are a very stupid girl. Where were you when you say, 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 when midnight? Oh, yeah, carry a bucket. Go midnight. So she will now carry the bucket. She's looking. And she discovers the spirit too. And the spirit says, Open that basket, whatever you like, choose. Instead of her taking small eggs, she will now pick the big egg, five. How many of you understand what I'm saying? So you go back home, you break it, and masquerade will come out. They start beating you and your mother. Meaning that there are, there are many ways by which these things can be accomplished. That's what I'm trying to show you. <laughs> All the depth of the riches and wisdom of, and knowledge of God, how unfathomable, inscrutable, unsearchable are his judgment, his decisions. He now says, and how untraceable, mysterious, undiscoverable are his ways. What are his ways? His methods, his paths. He says there, there are too many. His methods, his paths. I'm coming down. You know, some of you like it when I give you examples. That's when you begin to come back home. Give me the New Living Translation. So you begin to understand it. Some families sold land to establish their sons. It worked. Some families sold, followed the footsteps of the family that sold land and they entered into debt. The method is not the same. Do you know why? Maybe someone amongst the family that he didn't work for, that is not his makeup. Many a times, the favor that works for another, that refuses to work for another, is because of the makeup of the one he didn't work for. Look at this. Oh, how great are God's riches and wisdom and knowledge. How impossible it is for us to understand his decisions and what ways. He says, there is the method by which God does things. His method. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 55, verse number 8. Isaiah 55, verse 8. The word method is defined as a way of doing something. It's a very simple definition. A way of doing something, especially a systematic way. How many of you know that God has blessed you? Lift your right hand if you believe it. How many of you know that there will be a perfect blessing for you this week? Do you believe it? How does God bring it to pass? That's his method of doing things. His method. Isaiah 55 verse 8 into 9. You know what he says? He says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways, my method are not your method, said the Lord. Verse 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the heavens are higher. Hey, look up. This is a big picture, a big description. As the heavens are higher than the earth, 
So are my methods. That means he has many methods to accomplish a thing. Do you know that this is one of the reasons why he gave us the Holy Spirit? One of the functions of prayer and the ministry of the Holy Spirit intertwined together is to create an urgency in our spirit, a sensitivity in our heart to know and pick the ways, the method by which God does things. He says, as many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. It is the reason why we pray. It is the reason for the Holy Spirit. He uses this to show to us how he does things. How we are able to pick things, methods. Praise God. Your way of coming out of a challenge might be by the Spirit of God inspiring you to give. And it will lead another to go to the mountain. He will lead another to go to the mother. To speak a word. How are we able to pick these signals? To know this method. You don't use one method for all. You are able to pick the method that is proper for that particular situation. Wisdom is required. Write this down. Never you forget this. In order for you to pick or understand God's method, wisdom is a necessity. You cannot pick God's method outside the understanding or the voice of wisdom. If I will understand the method of God, I need to be schooled in the wisdom of God. It is the wisdom of God that gives birth to the method of God. The wisdom of God. Play with wisdom. You will be defrauded in the act of methods. Play with wisdom. And you will lose out in the understanding of God's method. It is the wisdom of God that fashions out the method God uses in answer prayer. It is the wisdom of God. That God uses in bringing about turnaround. It is the wisdom of God. That gives birth. To the method he used in bringing conception to a sister and another sister and another sister and another sister. You have to understand the rhythms of wisdom. So when you find God's method in operation, I want you to know that is a fraction of God's wisdom playing out. Are you with me? Are you with me? Brother Funcho, come. Brother Nee, come. Brother Tony, come. I want to show you something. When it comes to the wisdom of God, everybody look at me now. The three of you stand. In the Greek. Thank you. In the Greek. In the Greek. The English word for wisdom, which is one. W-I-S-D-O-N. One. That's the English word. The English is so weak in translation. The English is so weak in bringing out the true or the etymology of words. 
The English is so weak. What they call wisdom. Brother me come. These three, you stand here now. This is wisdom. This is English. Spread your hand. Uh huh. This is wisdom. This is English. In the Greek, it is not wisdom as per one. It is wisdom as per three. There are three Greek words for the English word wisdom. It is like love. Love is the English word. But there are four of them. So the Greek has three. Write it now. The first one is Sophia. Sophia. Sophia is the mother of all wisdom. This is the mother of all knowledge. It is knowledge based on insight. It is knowledge based on what? Insight. Insight into reality. There are certain truths that you do not know. It's wisdom. It's, it's Sophia. It's Sophia. This is Sophia. The second one is Sunesis. S U N E. Are you there? S I S. That's Sunesis. That is mental knowledge. Critical wisdom. It is a wisdom based on analysis. It is based on experiment. So we have Sophia. We have Sunesis. Then we have the third one. Phronesis. H R O E N I. Why are you saying ho? Oh. You want to go and write F before? Phronesis. It is the combination of that critical n- sonesis. Are you with me now? Uh huh. But this time around, phronesis determines the mode of operation, it determines how. That thing is done. So, this is Sophia. This is Sunesis. This is Phronesis. So, Sophia, go and sit down. Sunesis, go and sit down. When it comes to understanding God's method, the motherboard is Phronesis. Do you know why? Phronesis determines the mode of operation. The way and manner in which you want to do a thing. For instance, you want to drink tea. You make hot water. Huh? Another one says no. Get me cold water. The way you determine the mode of oppression is called phronesis. Phronesis is the mother of all God's, all of God's method in dealing with people. How does God elevate Sister Chisholm? How does God elevate Brother Shedrach? How does God bring a turnaround for Brother Lugard? How does bro- God bring about elevation for Brother Anthony? How does God answer a mother who is in the village? How does God enlarge Brother Bemis' ministry? How does God bring about expansion in your company? How does God bring about your financial uprise how does god change an economy how does god change a system how does god bring about an earthquake how does god do all of this how does he answer daniel the motherboard of all of those things you see is a function of phronesis phronesis determines the mode the method of oppression and can i tell you something as you study the scriptures 
you will discover the dealings of God with our patriarchs. Most of the major dealings of God with our patriarchs had always been one. Moses was the only guy who did what? Who took the children of Israel and they crossed the Red Sea. He doesn't want to. The only time, this is phronesis. Are you with me? Thank you. Sit. I want to get Izu. So, this is God wanting to get Izu. He wants to get Izu's attention. So, phronesis comes in. Even when it comes to the creation of the world. If you read Proverbs chapter 8, what did he say? He said, I wisdom, I was there from the beginning. Why didn't God just create the earth by saying, Ha, 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 ha. No. The mode of oppression that was chosen was that the spirit of God moved. And God said, Do you know why he chose that method? Because in 2023, he wants us, he wants Pastor Up to be able to use the same mode to recreate something that is damaging in his world. So he used something. I don't know if I'm getting someone's attention. So in getting Moses' attention, he knows that Moses is a guy who always loves, he loves, he loves, he loves actions. He loves events. He doesn't like a dull moment. So, he knows Moses by nature. By nature. By creation. He knows Moses. So, the only way I'm going to get this guy, if, I, if wind start blowing, Moses will pass. Some of you that came to this church or came to Christ, it's women that brought you. A babe. In I, in Esu. So, Gideon. Agame sorondi mozi. Kahu mozi. Until... You came. From coming, you discovered that you don't need a sister. You started speaking in tongues. They know how to get you. The heaven. Phronesis, the mode of oppression, knows that the only way to get this brother is by creating an attention, giving him a sister. There's a can't, and it's not all kinds of sister. Your speck. Tell your neighbor, do you have a speck? Ask, ask. Okay, you have a speck. (laughs) After the service, maybe you guys should ask Pastor So how he came to give things. Tell him, Pastor, just explain. He will be able to explain. Some of you, a man, a guy has been inviting you, you refuse. I know, go to church. A sister came, wow, because of you, I will come. You know why God brought the sister? That's the mode, that's phronesis. That's the voice of God's method to bring you. So when you came that evening, you wanted to form. Rob, right now, so. Then you find the sister that brought you. She's, she's, rakata, rak. You say, ah, sister, okwa. Onya akwa nuku sister. Carry deep. Hi. Muna onya oge, mi ukwa inya. Because in your mind, you were thinking, if I just attend the service, you know, after service, I will just take her out, then we'll see. You know, we'll see. And you know all the things that are involved in the scene. So that's where your mind is. So now, you came to church and find the person you are supposed to see later. Now, Kabashi, to the point she's now going to labara, labara, bara. And she starts prophesying, my children. You say, eh? <laughs> no way. This one will not go to the other side. We don't take this type to the other side. So after the service, now you that was, you, you are now humble. Where do I? He says, ah, brother Tony, how are you? Hope you enjoyed the service. <laughs> Why? The fear, the glory you saw, you're like, he said, wow, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go home. Say, eh, hi. So you are going home, a lot of things going through your mind. Ha, where do I start this conversation from? <laughs> Should I say the message? I don't even know what the pastor called the second one. Hi. Because hi, this sister is deep, is spiritual. Uh, Sophia, I am I'm Sophia. Also, soon chemists. Soon chemists, no, no, soon so, Then, hey, that third one, can't, 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 so she now said, how was, how was the meeting? I hope you enjoyed. Can you see the man of God? Ah, that's what I wanted you to see. There's a life when pastor begins to say, mm! You don't know what you say. Wow. 
So you, before they ask you, you now brought her. Do you know when Pastor was talking about Sophia? Did you hear that too? Ah, that Sophia thing. And you were able to pick that. He says it's, it's an insight into reality. Ah, I got that. So you don't want to mention the other one. So you stop at that one. She now said, I hope you are going to come the next time. Say, yes, yes, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. Um, you're going home, right? Yes, now it's home. We are going to. Okay, okay. So I will just wait for you here to just take a bus and to start the conversation of relationship has ended. So she entered bus. You say, thank you, Jesus. So you are going home. And you are saying, ah, I don't come up for this one. No, even, this one, I will delete her number. So she starts calling you. Only for you to get home. You try to sleep. You are seeing her face. You try to turn. You are seeing her face. You wake up and say, ah, ha, ah, what is all this? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you can rest. Sunday, she's calling. She's sending you a message. Make sure you attend though. And you don't want to attend that Sunday meeting. But now, you have no rest also. Because God, the appetizer, all he needs is for that sister to just bring you. Leave him to finish the work. Yes. He has a future plan. Now he's bringing you. On Sunday, you decide to come. You came late, you sat there. And the man of God is preaching again. You say, ah, but there's something about this service. Oh. This thing is not... I want to know more about this. So you now say, can I see the man of God? Say, yeah, you can see him. That's our pastor. So they hug you. They greeted you. How are you? You now sat down. So you started coming. You have forgotten who brought you. You started coming. You receive Christ. You receive the Holy Spirit. You now start speaking in tongues. You attend foundation school. Ah, ah, the thing is moving. You are growing. You join a cell. From a cell, your business starts prospering. Yeah. You now, your eyes on other women is gradually reducing. It used to be there, oh. The thing is now reducing. Every day the thing is dying. Every day is dying. Drink is dying. Friends is dying. Association is dying. Until you are now one of those who now talk the word. You are now talking the word. After one year, two years, you are now talking the word. You carry the IV. You are going everywhere. You are now God's man on a mission. But you never knew that this was God's plan. All the while to get your attention using a babe. Do you think that's the only method God has? No, sir. For some other person, you use a business idea. To get someone. Use this transaction. To get someone. So for Moses, he caused the fire to be burning. And the bush were not burned. And Moses said, ah, ah, What is this sight? That the fire is burning? And the grasses are not consumed? I will go. And see. What is this thing? And on go getting there, a voice spoke from there. Moses! Hmm? The fire, they talk. Remove your shoes from where you are standing. is the holy ground. Who are you? I'm the God of your fathers. I have come to appear to this for this purpose. I have heard and seen the cry of my people in Egypt. And I have come down to use you. That you will go to Pharaoh and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And you say, who am I to go to Pharaoh? Do you know who Pharaoh is? He's having a conversation with a voice that he has not seen. All he needed was to get his attention. Brothers and sisters, read all through the scriptures. You will never find a burning bush experience again. That's all. God is not limited to one method. He has many methods. And if you keep him in that box and say this is the only way, then you know you are going to miss it. Let me show you an experience. Genesis chapter 24. An experience in the Bible. From verse 1. About a man by the name Abraham. Are you learning something? Genesis 24. On the way to Calvary, he went for me. He went for me. Jesus went for me. On the way to Calvary, he went for me. He died. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Follow this story. You will like it. Verse 2. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of his house. That ruled over all that he had. Put I pray thee thy hand under my tie. Verse 3. And I will make thee swear by the Lord. The God of heaven. And the God of the earth. That thou shalt not take a wife unto my son. Of the daughters of the Canaanite. Among whom I dwell. That even though I dwell there, I don't want you to take a wife from here. I have a message here, very deep. 
It says, but this is what I want you to do. But thou shalt go unto my country and to my kindred and take a wife unto my son Isaac. If we claim to be the children of Abraham, Jesus told us on Wednesday, follow his example. Alright, verse 5. And the servant said unto him, Paradventure the woman will not be willing to follow me unto this land. Must I need bring thy son again unto the land from whence thou camest? Verse 6. And Abraham said unto him, Beware that thou that thou bring not my son Vida again. So he's telling him, he said, I want you to take a wife for my son. Abraham, Abraham's son Isaac is up to the marriageable age and he wants the guy to get married. And he says, I want you to swear that you will take a wife from him. So he's not even permitting Isaac to take a wife by himself. His servant should go and get a wife for him. And whatever you get, that, that, that's applicable in the days. It was good. Any woman you bring, it's okay. And this guy swore. He said, what about if the woman refused to follow me? Should I come and take your son to, to the place? He says, no, don't do that. Verse 7. The Lord God of heaven, which took me from my father's house, Abraham is praying now, and from the land of my kindred, and which spake unto me that, that thou swear unto me, say, unto thy seed will I give this land. He shall send his angel before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from thence. That means the angel of God will escort you, will go ahead of you, to help you rearrange the situation, such that you will find the woman that will marry my son. Alright? Verse 8. And if the woman will not be willing to follow thee, then thou shalt be clear from this my oath. Only bring not my son Vida again. Alright? Verse 9. And the servant put his hand under the tie of Abraham his master and swore to him concerning that matter. Verse 10. And the servant took ten camels, watch this, of the camels of his master and departed. For all the goods of his masters were in his hand. And he, he arose and went to Mesopotamia unto the city of where? Nahor. Alright? 11. And he made his camels to kneel down without the, without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening when the time that women go out to draw water. And like this, the guy is looking for a wife. He went straight to the river where women come to fetch water. And he was able to calculate the time. You know, when I tell you people about spiritual principle, you can't be a lady that is trusting God for um, a man. And all the people you have are either divorcee or people who are not in a relationship. There's an anointing. If you want to keep your marriage, you can't be walking or hanging out with people who have lost theirs. One thing you don't understand is like the heart is like a bag. People are carrying their own. They are not happy with your condition. They want you to be like them. You must be wise. A sister who left her husband's house and you are keeping yours by 7 o'clock, she said, let me quickly go to the market and buy something for my husband. He's not happy you are only saying that because she feels you are insulting her. The same way a woman who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, you send someone's child an errand and the mother says, where's my boy? He's late now. She feels indirectly that she's been insulted because she has no child. I remember Pastor Chris Oyakilome went to the bookshop here when Deeper Life was still, when they were still, and wanted to buy a book. He said he turned and saw a book, How to Pastor a Small Church. And he told himself, I am not a pastor of a small church. That was the devil responding to him. Buy this book. If he had bought that book, you wouldn't know Christ's embassy today. But he shunned it and went for another book and look at what it is today. Someone else would have said, but there's nothing there. There's wisdom in the thing. It is not the wisdom, it is the title. It is the title. They said, don't, don't look at what they wrote in the bus. Enter the bus. If they wrote the bus, everyone that enter here will die. Will you enter? You say, don't read. I will read everything. You must know the label that man wants to put upon you. Because labels are real. There are spiritual labels. And they are real. If someone calls you a non-entity, a stupid boy, one we will never achieve. It's better for you to rewrite that history. Because if you are not careful, that label will follow you all through life, your life. Are you with me? And that's why I say on you, every time you come here, I always pronounce a blessing upon you. Because the blessing of the Father rests upon the head. Look at the guy didn't go anywhere. He went straight to the stream and at the time where women come to fetch water. Why didn't he go and hang around brothers and say which of the babies is the most beautiful here? He went straight to, to where women are. You're not married 
and we, you, you, you are a guy and all your conversation and the people you hang out with are people who are not ready to marry when they talk about marital you, you are angry and you want to settle down do you not know that they are anointing in words they are anointing in people yes I've seen sisters. I am not being superstitious. And that's why we don't even practice it. There's no superstition in Christianity. But I've seen sisters who just went to visit a woman who put to bed. And passed the night there only for them to conceive. These things happen. The method of God, you can't write them off. He just nudges you and says, go and buy something to that person. And give to that woman that just gave birth. And the moment you carry that child, it's as if all of the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom that makes for children embraces you. And sometimes you can insult someone's child and the child turns his back on you and there's nothing that happens around you again. Yes. There's a woman in the estate who bought something. Just bought, you know, things. This woman is pregnant. You know, this one is believing. She, doesn't even, she wasn't even thinking about it. And saw this woman under this hot sun going to the market. Say, what do you want to buy? Say, I just want to buy tomato and just make something for, for, for my husband. Say, okay, don't worry. How much one? I'll get it for you. And that was all. That was all. Two months after she was pregnant. That's a method. Should I now say, everyone that wants to, that wants to believe God for a child, go and look for people who are pregnant and be, that are going to the market, buy them tomato. No, no, you must understand. And that's why he's telling you, don't close your heart of help towards people. People are going to hurt you. People are going to puncture you. People are going to wound you. People are going to strike you. But never you close that path. Because with the same measure you give, the same measure you receive. And if you close that part of you, it will never work again. I've seen people in ministries. I've seen people in, in church who wants to prosper. And they speak against men of God. And it's not going to work. No matter how little. You know, you need to understand. There's an anointing and there's a call of God upon the person. It's only before the one who calls him that he stands or fall. And this is a method. Respect couples. Respect them. You go to their house. Don't go on uninvited. Don't go on an, 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 an ungodly hour. Respect them. Don't call them. Don't call a man who is married. You call by 11.30. What is wrong with you? By 11. They are not going to work against you. Because the moment the sister perceives you are always disturbing the husband, she's, begin, she's wondering, what is the problem? Look at this guy. He went straight. Sometimes some of our brothers are just so, 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 so oscunated. You see three sisters gather. And you are believing. Buy them drink and walk out. Say, ah, sisters, you guys are looking. I get you, Fanta. Play jokingly, just drop it and go on. You are tapping into something. One of them might say, I just like this way, dear brother. The conversation has started. And maybe you are just saying, Lord, I don't know the person, just show me. And it could just be that the one that showed you kindness is the one. And she comes back later. The other two say, Ordinary Fanta. This one comes back and say, Thank you. That's the one you should marry. Don't marry this one. Because no matter what you buy for them, they will never appreciate it. Even if you buy limousine. No be your job. Are you with me? Your beginning ministry, you have vision. God has given you visions of nation. In you. And a sister met you when you were in half room. I said, now here you leave. Chai. Did, did you say God call you? Say, here. Don't marry that one. Don't say we are going to, I will change her by the grace of God. Grace cannot change that one. It is disgrace that will change you. Leave her. She's not a material. Because every great thing is found in a mud. You bring it out and clean it. A sister that cannot help you to clean the vision is not worthy to follow the vision. Don't eat the bread of the vision if you cannot be there to partake of the making of the bread. You saw me wearing slippers. You have money. You can't buy me sandal. When I now start wearing big shoe, you want me to buy you iPhone uh, X 15? Get one. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. There are sisters who saw me when we were we were hi. That was when I was Obina. Now I'm past Obina. And they will buy me apple. They want it Are you with me? Brothers who believed in you when there was no food. The 
were praying with empty tummy. La kubara. La. 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 Basa. That's where been you. Bara sete. Bara. And they are there. They are, they, are, they are walking themselves. Praying. Believing. The sham veil. The rain will beat us. Sun will beat us. And all of a sudden. There's a huge transformation. And you want them driven out. No way sir. No, no, no. It's not done. That's not God's method. No, no, no. It's not done. It's not done. But they don't have qualification. He qualified them. <laughs> Under the sun was their qualification. Under the rain was their qualification. When they were doing it without checking was their qualification. Are you with me? No. You can come with one, 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 one degree from... The, the, people are forging degree now. Even... Uh, my, <laughs> I know talk oh. <laughs> because now they are looking for me everywhere. <laughs> ah, they say I was one that gave the prophecy and they, they, they were put it there. They are looking for me. <laughs> are you with me? God's method. We're just talking. Look at it. went there. We'll finish service now. Some brothers are here believing God. They have prayed. Oh. They will see where sister Jojo. Some sisters are not kind in words. How old are you? You want a tall brother, B, and you are not tall. Are you tall? Look at the qualification. Did, did, did the man say, check a lady that has nose, that has... He said, get a wife. You, I want him tall. And we need your game on your ladder. Right by you. <laughs> no, when you sit with some sisters, you're just you're just like, and they are the reason they are giving me so much work. I'm praying. <laughs> I'm praying every time. Father, give them. And a guy again. I'm taller than him. Who told you that the success of a marriage is based on height? The ones that married tall one, they are throwing them away. <laughs> rejudge, rejudge. I'm not saying you marry. That's not what I said, though. I'm just saying that those things should not be the word qualification. They are not the criteria. Get a good, a good brother, a good sister that love the Lord. Don't say I want someone that fear God. Do you fear God? You only need a fear God. Have you given for night of beauty? Because you saw me sweating, crying. Now you need to go. <laughs> I want a guy that has beers. I can touch his beer. <laughs> and you are a sister in the Lord. <laughs> ah, look at your neighbor. Give them. And when them now go. I want a very beautiful sister. <laughs> I'm just looking at you. That's just I'm looking at you. Very beautiful. You know her. She walks. There's the way she she won't walk like. Hey, hey, hey. That walk can change. Oh, Okada can wipe this leg. The walk will change. Believe God. Believe God. Believe God. Believe God. Believe God. Follow God. Leave the cat walking. I was reading the, 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 there was a report yesterday, you know, Alex Ferguson's wife died. And they've been married for 57 years. That's marriage! 57! You're only 6 months. Because you wanted nose. You wanted ear. I want him to have beers in, in, in the chest. What are you looking for, sister? Who opened the shirt of the brother for you to check? <laughs> <laughs> you say, but Pastor, what I'm saying is that I'm already short. If I'm if it's now short, we're now short, short. Our children will not be short, 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 short. <laughs> Who told you that DNA is not change? Who told you I've seen short guys, I've seen short couples produce tall children? You don't know what the DNA is. Can you trace it? Leave it for God. 
And I've seen tall people produce short ones. Because they never honored people that are tall. Your criteria should not be that I want a girl that speaks in tongues. No way. Follow God. Believe God. Because she can enter and you don't know that the tongues is as a result of she has been saying it just so that to get, to get a man. Now she has gotten you. The tongue is reducing. Finally you enter. She's not saying, how did they start them before? This is a sister. Is it Boku I used to use? No. It's not Boku. <coughs> it's Banga. I know some sisters who are very spiritual. They got married today. I'm looking for their spirituality. Because when children begin to come at responsibility, there's a whole lot that can come on you. You must be disciplined to maintain a stand. You must. Especially when you don't have a brother who is understanding in nature. Because that time, you wake up, the baby might be crying. Can he hold the child for you for 30 minutes so you finish your prayer? There's a whole lot. Follow God. Leave all those things. I want someone that has shape. Shape, I got an apple tiger. Because one day you look at the shape, you will not see it. Something will cover your eyes. Situation will make you not to look for it. It's okay. Uh, honey, have you forgotten how you were looking before when we married? There's a Lord. You're desiring all those things. I'm not saying they are not good. But I'm telling you, those things should not be the ultimate. They are not the basic criteria. When it comes to, when it has to do with, you, you go and you say, Father, help me. I can't, I don't want to make any choice. You see all those things you wrote. It must be taught. It must be God fearing. Tear the book and say, Father, help me. Help me. This journey is forever. Help me. I don't want someone that will make me delay. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. You're looking for a very fair, beautiful. Can you buy her cream? Help me, oh God. Because her cream and soap is expensive. It is up to agent and agreement fee. Follow the one where your hand feels. <laughs> if na soda. Oh, <laughs> okay. There are some sisters, no matter what they rob. I know some. They don't have special cream, special soap. They are moving. Some will start singing it at the thing. The thing is meaning half. Honey? <laughs> honey? You are coming back, honey? <laughs> hey! It is hypertension. The beep is going up. Who told you to marry? Leave the color. Marry the one where you feel manage. Marry where you feel manage. Now rhyme. And follow God's method. Don't follow pastor's method. Follow God's method. Don't marry my kind of woman. You can't manage her. Marry your own. I can't manage your own. Our roads are different. If it's blessing, you can manage. No, no, no. Are you with me? You're looking at the waist. So this Christian is this bomb bomb we're looking for. Uh -uh. Sister Akudo, this laugh. Yes! You not tell her, can you put on them? Um, uh, hey, Sister Luchi, what are those names? <laughs> Christian brother. Christian sister. After two years, you are not coming to pastor. My wife is always chatting midnight. Oh, that, that, is, that is the okrika you bought. <laughs> we can't do anything about it. When I was shouting, follow God. Follow God. Follow God. Don't look for a woman in a club. Any lady got in from the club will always go back to the club. I'm telling you the gospel truth. They know the change finish. Yes. 
I counsel a lot of people. I know marriages where men pick those rubbish. Don't bring a man to church simply because you want him to marry you. Then you want to convert him. So you are the Jesus Christ. All right? Those are not God's method. Those are man's method. Know when you initiated a thing and know when God initiated it. When it comes to the service of God, the upliftment of God comes to the one that is humble. Phronesis must be active. And this is where, when phronesis is active in a place, there are three methods God using in bringing about, turnaround, answers to prayers, upliftment, expansion, and all of that. The first one is the general method. I tell ministers, this is one of the things I tell them. Make sure your wife is the one that laughs. Little thing, make her laugh. Even stupid things, make her laugh. It's better. They don't have strong hearts. Those kind of people. You beg them small, they'll forgive you. But you see those ones that are always in the spirit. Before they come down, time have gone. I ask your neighbor, are you in the spirit? I'm showing you God's method. Don't think by having sex with a guy, you tie him. You have just untied him. Because he has now known how you are. You have untied him. He will look for the one that is tied. Men love game. That's why they love football. They love doors that are hard to open. Not the one that you open easily. They want to know why it's hard. I met you on Thursday. You are in my house on Friday. Ah, you are a believer. You are not a believer. Oh. You are a believer. <laughs> that is not God's method. That's your own method. You don't know him. You don't know anything about him. Straight. I'm going to my boyfriend's house. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are going to break my heart. What do you say, breaker? <laughs> How many of you are the lens, Jerry? <laughs> if you are the men, are wave at me. <laughs> if you are a sister, be a sister indeed. If you are a brother, be a brother indeed. If you pick a sister here, you are a sister. Come and tell me. I will know you are serious. Don't go standing at the back of generator. <laughs> you want to steal our diesel? <laughs> so I use the money to buy. To buy, buy, buy. <laughs> Come to me. I don't bite. I don't kill. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? This is just the introduction. So by Wednesday, by the grace of God, we we'll begin to delve into furnaces and see how modes are determined. God can tell you to go to a dark place, a slum, and start a business. That's his method. That's his method. There's no guarantee that when you start six months after, you buy a car. No. You suffer in God's method too. There's suffering in God's method. Even though it's his method, there's suffering. I will show you. Are we where God has spoken to us yet? No. We've been there. We're not there yet. But are we still where we used to be? No. We have left. So, you might have a little pause. God will tell you pause. He will pause it and just be watching you. Because to every level there's a character. It must be tested. When it comes to healing, he might tell one, take communion. 
Tell another one, speak the word. Tell another one, go for laying of hands. Go tell another one, use the anointing. Method. I just showed you what Abraham's son did. We didn't finish it, yes, but I know. A lady came down from that thing. I said, sir, can I give you water? He said, yes. He said, not only me, give my camel. And you know one thing? We measured, I measured, I was able to check um, the quantity of water a camel takes to be satisfied. Between 16 to 25, one camel. So you can imagine, and he took 10. The girl was patient enough going to the stream, fetching water, giving the camels, and the guy was observing. That is a very good criteria. A patient sister is better than a tongue talker. Because she's speaking in tongues, but she's volatile. Be patient. By the time he was done, he said, Please, my master has a son. Ba, 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 ba. God has blessed my master. And can you please? She said, Let's go. Not knowing that that girl was Abraham's brother's son, daughter. Finally, when he brought her, he said, Who is your father? Said, ah, my brother. He said, You see, God answered. And that was how Isaac married. So he married in God's method. Were there problems? Yes. Few years after, she could not deliver. No conception. No pregnancy. That you married a girl that the Lord spoke to you and she didn't conceive immediately does not mean that she's not of God. Calm down. Understand what God wants to teach you. You might marry one immediately and the next thing you notice that sickness came in. He wants you to use the word that you have learned to come back everything doesn't have to oh we we just marry is right and jello fries no where will your faith be tested and some of you might be in a matter on an issue for five six ten years fifteen there's a brother um i think two weeks ago he did a thanksgiving the wife gave birth after 18 years guess what when this brother was talking he said now he knows why god said he should marry that girl at 20. she was still in school rounding up he made sure he waited for her at 20. when they waited 18 years that's 38. he now gave birth to twins you can imagine if that lady was 30 when he married her she would have been 48. i'm not saying that there's nothing god cannot do but i'm trying to show you the level of patience they were thanking the woman but i went and said brother you are the one to be thanked because i don't know what you faced for 18 years have you been around women who are believing god their level of tears complain giving up anguish you can't stand it when a man is going through something that's why he's a man he can be quiet and you don't know a man a man will carry bills on his head school fees house rent nepa bill toilet bill all the bill parents families friends all of them on this head and the man is still laughing a lady carries one her soap finish she's not comfortable put them out now the tenacity the fiber in which men were made how many of you are getting what i'm saying that's why when you leave children for a woman to train, there will always come a point where there's comma. They don't have all. God by creation did not give to them. They can win children. They don't raise them. They don't train them. The training must be complete. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why you don't give those load to your wife. No! You will make her old on time. You will make her weak on time. Don't put those things. Don't let her think about never be Think about utility bills. Think about children's school fees. Let her think of children's run. Let her go and do the runs. But don't let her think of their fees. You will make her old on time. She will break down. Don't let your wife think of house rent. She should not even bring it in the conversation. Let tell her it's been paid. That's the receipt for it. Ah, honey. Hmm? That's the only thing they give. Either go be. At so. But don't tell her to think about children's book, book test books. She can take them, go and bring them back from school. 
they are playing why they are coming women always refer your children when they ask you for something say go and meet that even if it is coming from you say go and meet your dad the responsibility is by creation given to them don't make your wife look older relieve her of the stress after a few years she conceived what is that they don't marry after a few years she conceived and get birth you will conceive calm down stress can even make you not to too much thinking when she's bothered don't 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 add say don't worry let's pray let's pray let's trust god hold hands pray there will be trying times in every, in every unit. There will be trying times. But it's the word that I've put in you that keeps you during that time. All of a sudden, financially, things might just go. You just say, what is happening? For the word's sake, you will be tried. For the word's sake. And that is when to show your texture as a believer. Don't give up and say, I want to attend midweek service. All of a sudden, you are reducing. Because there's no food anymore. It's now all one. You used to go eat and dash people. But now, you can't even attend family meetings. They can't call you because there's nothing. Don't feel you are rejected. It's a face. It will come to pass. Stay in the word. And don't soil your hands. Maintain it. I was never a food person. I never knew the call was coming. So when the call came, my not being a food person helped me in the ministry because you have to maintain a life of fasting so food was never an issue i never knew something was coming i don't know how to spend stupidly i love a systematic spending you must be detailed that's why i love p2b we don't we don't spray money anyhow. Oga, okay? what do you want to do that is useful? Don't say today na Thursday, today na Thursday. Who are no? I am of the opinion that such people should be arrested. Spread money. If you work for that money, you won't spread like that. It's because you know the way you got it. Follow God's method. The method of God might be stay in this one room, hide here first. Let me build you. But you have the money for three bedroom. You have the money for duplex. But stay here. You will, you will learn a lot. I'm just saying it in the place of relationship. Because many of us are just there. See at a brother whose things are not working for. And you are in a relationship with the person. You are cutting. He needs time. He needs prayers. Always have a time of withdrawal and pray for him. The Bible says two are better than one. Find time to pray. Know where your strength lies. is in God. Know the things you shouldn't get into. I don't push myself into things I know that you see this one, it will cause trouble. Don't get into it. Some of you, God's method for you is leave social media for six months. Because that's where your distraction is from. You must reply every WhatsApp message. Ta -ta -tam -tam -tam. You don't read that. In the time. There are many Delilah on social media. Man of God, flee. Flee. If you are blessed, put your hands together for Jesus.
Are you glad you came? Did you learn something? Can I appeal to some sisters? Learn how to be flexible. Learn how to manage or work with 10,000, 5,000, 2,000, 1,000. Be flexible. When the error of 100,000 come, be there. When the error of 1,000 come, be there. Nobody prays to go back, but be learn how to be flexible. It's wisdom. Paul says, I know how to be a base, and I know how. So whatever, whichever situation that hits him, he knows how. My principle has never been to work with pledges. You see, last Sunday we pledged. That has never been my principle. That's your vow between you and your God. My principle has always been work with what is with you. By so doing, I don't run into debt. You can't see anybody come and say, ah, give my money. You collected cement from us. I'm not done with it. It's a church. It's not a company. If it's 200,000 that is with you, we plan with it. I will not plan with your 1 million that you pledged because you might decide to leave the church. We might send you a message and that's one of the reasons I don't call. You say, ah, why is this pastor calling me? Is it because of the pledge I made? I will stop coming to this church. Oh. Hello, sir. Good day, sir. Hmm. They insult you before they now are prison for a pledge. Let's be on our feet. If you think you learned something, clap for Jesus. Honestly, it doesn't take anything to find a good man or a woman. God will help you. Lift your hands. Just thank him right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just open your mouth. I want to hear. In the name of Jesus. Now look at me. By the grace of God, in this series, I just pray God grants me the. You will see the place of the use of drugs. I will talk about. That's the key only. The use of drugs. Someone asked me a question one time, sir. They had three kids. Then for some reason, the wife conceived it was the fourth one. For another reason, she conceived again it was three. And she came and said, sir, should we go for family planning? I want to know what the will of God is. What is the method of? Are you me? Some are in. Some are just in that kind of issue. What is God saying? Can I be praying and take drugs? We're going to look at God's method of healing. Because if I don't help him balance some things, some of us have. It's no longer faith we're practicing. It's foolishness. And you need a balanced minister, one who understands it, to help you. I've been there. When I tell people, when you have opportunity like this to be the husband, take worship serious. I know what I'm saying. There are many battles going on. 
Satan has marked certain people and he has vowed never to leave them. You too vow never to leave worship. Your life was okay until you get married. The moment you enter, pam! Things began to happen. The Lord just showed me a picture. The last um, 